Hello, everybody. My name is Carla Ibarra. I am with Ibarra Medicare Options. Um, I am an independent Medicare agent, and I focus on Medicare products only. And uh, today we're actually going to be talking about something that I find is really important for our clients, and that is maximizing your benefits. So these are the benefits that are aside from your medical benefits. So they're called your ancillary benefits, your extra benefits, um, uh, th those kinds of things. And uh, there are probably over 20 different benefits on top of your medical benefits. And many people um, either don't know how to access them or don't know how to utilize them to where they are um, uh, optimizing the usage of these benefits and many times they're leaving money on the table. So we're going to go over those 20 and just speak from general terms uh, in relation to how different plans uh, either uh, have you contact them to utilize those benefits, um, what those benefits look like, where you can go to get those benefits. Uh, and uh, how, how much they're going to cost, what they're going to pay, uh, all of those kinds of things are, are things that are, can be very confusing in utilizing the benefits that they've added to this. And we want to make it as simple as possible uh, so you guys actually uh, uh, utilize them, to optimize them to the best of, of your uh, capability. So we'll go over all 20 of them, but I, first I'd like to introduce my uh, Medicare advocate, my assistant, um, Bonnie Cooper, and let her uh, tell you a little bit about herself before we actually get into the meat of the program. Hello, my name is Bonnie Z. Cooper. I'm in Southern California, and I've been working with Carla for, oh, I'd say approximately four and a half to five years. Carla's presentation will be available on Zoom and or it'll be available on YouTube. So please, at the end of this, you'll see an address. Please send a request for it to be sent to you. I appreciate that. You'll see an address and you'll also see a phone number. Back to you, Carla. Thanks so much. Uh, yeah, you're going to be having um, all, uh, all of my information in case you need to contact me in relation to the things that we're talking about today so that you can, I can actually assist you and um, walk alongside of you as you're trying to um, uh, make sure that you are uh, utilizing these benefits um, properly and, you know, like I said, uh, optimizing the use of them. And uh, uh, so you can contact me for that. You can also talk, contact me for any Medicare um, information or questions that you might have, or if you have any interest in taking a look at um, all the different benefits in the area, um, just a little bit of information again about me is that I um, uh, that I uh, uh, also work with over 20 different companies. So I have kind of the, um, uh, the information about all of these companies and understand how these uh, companies uh, offer their benefits and what benefits they offer. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about these benefits. Um, again, there's going to be about 20 different uh, types of additional benefits that you are offered on many of these plans. Uh, so vision is the first one that I have on the list. Uh, and uh, there are different ways to access these benefits and utilize these benefits based off of which plan you are on. Uh, so uh, some of them allow for you to have a reimbursement. So you can go wherever you want. Let's say they'll give you $300. So you can go to Costco where generally glasses and lenses, frames and lenses will cost you about $150 per. So you could get two really nice um, pairs of glasses. Uh, for that reimbursement. There are some um, uh, insurance companies that offer uh, uh, VSP, I believe, is one of the vendors that they utilize. And um, it used to be that you were locked into a very uh, small network. And I think they're expanding their networks now, but you do have to utilize those networks. Um, the reimbursements, you can go anywhere you want. Uh, with the uh, with some of the VSP, you do have to stay with the network, but they are expanding those networks, meaning that you can go to Costco also in many cases, you can utilize some of the online offerings, uh, as far as the glasses are concerned and other um, other places as well. But again, you want to be careful to know which plans you're on that will allow you to go to these places so that you're not ending up paying completely out of pocket, um, and you're going to be able to utilize um, the monies that they offer you. 
Uh, dental is the second one, and this is actually quite a big one. Um, uh, and Bonnie and I actually have been focusing this last year on getting as much information about the different dental plans uh, with all of the different companies. So we have dental schedules for most of them. We um, have um, spoken with uh, retired dentists to get information about their thoughts on um, uh, the best plans to go with based off of your needs and, um, and give us a little bit of background information um, of why a lot of these dentists will upsell you and things like that. So just to give you a little bit of basics in regard to the dental. Uh, again, we felt that this was really an important issue. So um, there are actually four different types of um, uh, dental plans. Uh, the indemnity, which we're not going to talk about too much because none of the plans offer indemnity. The other one would be a PPO type of plan, and many of the plans offer this for an additional price point. Uh, there is uh, the HMOs, and uh, as you know, those are networked plans, and uh, you have to go specifically to those dentists, and they only pay so much. And then lastly, there is something new that came about in these last couple of years. Um, one in plan in particular will actually give you a $2,000 um, reimbursement, and that is for Orange County, California only. Um, they do have them in some of, the, some of the other areas, but not as much. So this in Orange County, California, it's $2,000, and they will reimburse. Um, you to go to any dentist you want to go, you, you can utilize it for any benefit. So cleanings, caps, um, whatever it is. And as soon as you get up to $2,000, they'll reimburse you the 2000 and um, that is your dental plan for the year. And then it will re up again um, in January 1st, which is really a fantastic opportunity because you can go to your dentist. It's really great. Um, and then the HMOs, um, many of you have probably seen a lot of the upselling going on. They can actually be very um, reasonable plans, but you've got to be really careful to make sure that you um, that you first of all pick a dentist within network um, that you trust um, or that maybe some friends can refer you to. Uh, second of all, you want to make sure that you are watching and paying attention to everything that they're doing, that the dentist is doing with you, what they're going to charge you for, whatever service they're providing for you before they provide the service, because we don't want you getting stuck with anything that you were not expecting. And that's not within your budget and that could actually um, harm you financially. Uh, so that's kind of the dental thing. I have more details about that, uh, and maybe uh, we can discuss that on a one-on-one -on -one basis, or um, we may be putting out an additional um, uh, 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 program out there where we'll describe a little bit more in detail about these plans, but that'll just give you a little bit of a taste of, of what that's all about. Another benefit is transportation, and uh, this has been offered up probably the last three or four years, um, plans maybe a little bit longer than that. They utilize a lot of, de depending upon the, um, the insurance company or the plan, um, they uh, have different uh, vendors, different providers, um, different drivers. I think sometimes they use taxis, sometimes they use Lyft. Uh, I don't know if they use uh, Uber or not, but those kinds of sh ride sharing uh, companies, a lot of times they utilize. Another thing is it can vary quite a bit from different insurance companies slash plan uh, based off of those plans that will give you maybe 40, well, some of the plans will give you unlimited rides, some of you will give you uh, 42 to 44 rides, and so on and so forth. It can go all the way down to about 12 rides. Uh, and uh, what's uh, interesting to know about that, again, that would be something that you'd say, you know what, I really need a lot of rides because of this situation. Uh, and so you may want to pick a plan that has more rides to them. Um, and, and again, we'll always balance out those um, extra benefits with what your needs are at that time. Another one that's been added these last couple of years, and most of the plans have come on board with it, they offer chiropractic and acupuncture. Almost all the plans utilize the same chiropractic and acupuncture company. I think it's called ASH. I cannot remember what the acronym is for, but it's A-S-H. Uh, and uh, you do have to stay with the network and we just gotta be really careful that we're, we are use, utilizing um, uh, within the network providers. Okay, moving on from there, we have hearing. Hearing is also a great benefit. And again, um, if this is an issue that you're not dealing with, it may not be something that we put into the, the, the bucket of things that you need. But for those of you who may have some hearing issues and really need to um, have that, those audiologists doing tests for you um, and, and needing to be fitted for, um, for hearing aids or even testing which ones you might like or, or not like or which ones work for you or not, uh, most of the plans now have, uh, have some sort of hearing aid benefit. 
Again, we have something like a reimbursement where you can go wherever you want and you'll be reimbursed for a certain amount of money. And then a couple of the other plans, um, it's gotten very popular where you would actually just pay a copay based off of which um, hearing aids you paid for or which, which hearing aids you were interested in. And there's different levels of them, different price points, but you pay a copay for each of the hearing aids and then go anywhere from $300 up to, I think, like $1,200 per hearing aid. Um, so again, it's based on what, you know, what you are, um, uh, you, your financial abilities are um, or, you know, what your needs are. So um, the other thing is uh, that there are some companies that actually own their own audiologists and their own hearing aid companies. And so that's something to take into consideration also when you're choosing your plan. Uh, let's see. Telehealth is another one. And that is something that's off offered by pretty much all of the companies, especially with COVID happening in this last year. Um, so you're able to do virtual appointments, um, but there are restrictions to this. And again, we can go over that uh, for you. Uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but that's a quite a nice thing to be able to do if you're traveling, uh, you know, not able to get into a doctor right away. You can actually do this quite quite quickly. Oh. And um, okay, so telehealth, that one's kind of self-explanatory. Technology support is another thing that some of the uh, companies are providing um, because obviously we are utilizing uh, a lot of technology these days, so you can get a little bit of assistance with that. Travel assurance is fantastic. Also, before you're um, going to travel, you can get some help with uh, with uh, uh, um, where you would go if you needed to um, see uh, see a doctor. How would you access those benefits in those areas? Um, so they will actually assist you with making sure you're prepared for anything that happens um, while you're traveling. Fitness memberships, many of you are probably um, familiar with this. Um, this is something that there used to be just silver sneakers and silver and fit. Some of the companies own their own uh, fitness benefits now. And there are others that have point systems um, that when you are able to go into an in-person fitness facility, uh, which we know is not something that necessarily is currently available to you, but in the future, you could use a couple of points and go to a yoga class. You could use a couple of points and go to another strength training class. You could actually go to different places rather than just being stuck with one uh, gym membership, uh, or one type of workout type of thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, over the counter benefits. Now, this is actually a really, really nice benefit that they added about four or five years ago as well. And uh, all of the other companies have come on board. One company does it and usually all the other ones follow suit. So pretty much everyone um, offers some sort of over the counter benefit. And they're all a little different. So some of them only allow you to do a booklet and pick things from the booklet. Some folks um, will let you go into CVS and buy your um, items there or Walmart or some of these other really popular stores. So that's something that based off of which plan insurance company you're on that you would want to know exactly how to utilize those. Uh, this, uh, this benefit is also varies on um, how much money they give you on um, uh, how often they'll give it to you. Uh, some of them roll over to the next year and some of them don't. So it's really important to, to know that this is a really good benefit. Again, sometimes it can be up to 50 to $100 uh, every month or every couple of months. So it's a lot of money that can be left on the table if you're not utilizing it. So over-the-counter benefits is um, you being able to go into stores and purchase uh, things such as aspirins, vitamins, um, adults' diapers, uh, uh, blood pressure cuffs, uh, all different kinds of thermometers, all kinds of different things uh, that you wouldn't think of bandages, that kind of thing. Okay, a Fitbit. Uh, there's also an offering, uh, one company in particular that does Fitbits. And uh, as you, uh, for those of you who don't know Fitbits, they will take your, uh, they'll, they'll count your steps of where you're going all day long and how many steps you're taking. Your, um, it will take your, um, your pulse and uh, so your heart rate will be monitored. It's a really, really cool thing. And um, you can get that free from this company in particular. And, uh, and you keep that forever, whether you change plans next year or not. So that's yours to keep. 
Brain HQ is a, um, a, a computer program that is offered for free. It's worth about, I think, $400 for, per year for it. It was developed by a, uh, a doctor who obviously was trying to help with keeping, you know, our, our brains working properly. Um, as they say, if you don't use it, you lose it. So that's all different kinds of puzzles and games and things like that that you can play with that are basically or that are particularly geared towards using your brain power. And like I said, not not uh, if you, uh, using it so you don't lose it. Okay, respite care is another one. So for folks who have caretakers, um, they will have somebody come in and relieve uh, those uh, caretakers um, so they can get some rest. Uh, we have return to home services in some of the plans, and that generally is actually bringing a caregiver in for a period of time. They have a certain amount of hours and that's based off of which company um, as to how, mu how much uh, time they give you and um, where you get those services. And again, we can help with and assist you with uh, being able to access these benefits. Home safety evaluation is offered through some of the companies as well. They'll come into your home and they'll see if there's, you know, carpets that need to be, you know, um, replaced or put in different areas or if there's railings that you might need, but things to keep you from having an accident. So that's a really nice benefit also, and that's for free. Somebody comes in and assesses if there are any needs in your home uh, that will modify it to make sure that you are uh, at a very low risk for uh, having accidents in the home. Home delivered meals is the next one. Um, in many cases, this is for our chronic uh, uh, clients. So folks with diabetes, heart conditions, another reason you would get uh, home delivered meals would be uh, right after a discharge from a hospital. Those are some really good reasons. They'll actually uh, drop the, the meals off to your home. They are generally uh, based off of what your uh, dietary needs might be. So they're specifically geared towards folks with those kinds of issues and with getting you healthy again. Uh, let's see, uh, per personal emergency response system. That's the classic around your neck or around your wrist. I've fallen and I can't get up. So that is, you know, if you fall in your home and you're by yourself and you're not able to get up to utilize the phone, you have that around your neck or around your wrist and you can actually speak to somebody just like a walkie talkie. And also these, uh, many of these have GPS abilities. So if you're outside of the home and let's say you got on a bus that took you to um, a place that you, you know, you don't know where you're at, you're lost, you could actually get help and assistance with getting you back on track um, or contacting a family member or something like that, that may be able to come and get you. So there's all different reasons that you would want to utilize something like that. It's not just for the person who lives alone, even though it is for that person as well. Okay, so mail order prescriptions uh, that uh, hopefully many of you are already utilizing where there are these companies who you order your prescriptions through them and they will mail them to your home. And by the way, these companies are very reliable. At one point many years ago, probably seven or eight years ago, they were very unreliable. In many cases, I get a lot of complaints. Um, I don't get those complaints any longer because uh, they are very reliable now. Another thing that there is out there is some help with packing meds. So if you have a lot of meds that you're on in a particular day and you have to take it three or four times a day, they'll actually pack your meds for you. So you'll have your morning medications, your afternoon medications, and your evening medications all in their own little package. Uh, so that you're able to, to accurately take your medications. Uh, that seems to be one of the biggest issues with health of seniors is not taking their medications on time or appropriately, that kind of thing. Uh, I just wanted to mention something. I was at my parents-in-law last weekend and um, they had this really cool clock that showed the time and it was a big digital clock and you could see it from like a mile away. And uh, it, would, uh, it would ding every time they needed to take their medications and it was loud. So it would be like, you know, doing some sort of song or saying you need to take your meds or whatever. So it was really quite cute. Now, but I thought at the same time, you know, wow, how, how uh, nice is that to have that reminder uh, that you're uh, that you take your medications and not um, take them either inappropriately or skip your meds, that kind of thing. Uh, another thing uh, I'd like to add is in regard to medications is um, that we've been working quite a bit with folks who are on expensive medications. So anybody who is paying anything for their medications um, and it seems unreasonable or even if it's, you know, seems normal to you, um, my diabetic medications, uh, there are some really great plans out there that can offer zero dollars for uh, many insulins 
And there are um, prescription memberships that I have connections with that I look outside of, uh, even outside of uh, your plan where you can become a member someplace and get medications that are generally very expensive for very low cost. So those are things that uh, that we do uh, to try and assist folks with um, making sure that they have the least expensive uh, costs in relation to their medical care. Uh, so we can talk about that uh, separately and on a one on one basis and give you more details about that. Uh, donut hole is uh, out of the question, uh, equation when it comes to these memberships, as well as with some of these uh, insulins. Now there is uh, no donut hole or you are covered through the donut hole. So that's super nice as well. Uh, another little thing that I'll add to the bottom here is that some plans actually offer a grocery benefit. Well, they'll give you $20, $30 a month. Um, so it's just kind of free cash. Uh, where you can go in and get uh, extra uh, groceries, uh, you know, just right on top of what you're already paying for them. So uh, it's just a nice little addition again, uh, and that can be offered to pretty much everybody. It's not specifically for a particular group of folks. Uh, that pretty much goes over most of the extra benefits that are offered by the plans. But again, we'd have to go over, okay, your specific plan, what is offered in your plan and if you heard something today that your plan does not offer we can definitely talk about that and uh, how to maybe help you with that in the future so um so yeah so uh that's kind of the gist of the presentation today i think i've gotten over most of it but if there's any questions you have or there's any additional information that you need, um, we are going to put my information up. Um, there, it's also been right behind me here. You'll see my name, the name of my company, uh, the website, as well as the phone number, the 800 number uh, that you have access to. So you can definitely call me with any additional questions that you might have. Uh, and Bonnie is also going to be putting at the end of the presentation, which will be happening shortly, another banner with all of my information as well. Uh, we're really happy to ha have you guys uh, sitting in and, and, and watching our presentation and happy to answer any questions you might have on top of this. Or even if you have some comments about the presentation, um, some clarification on things. Uh, what you thought of it, was it beneficial to you? We'd love to hear those comments as well. Uh, bon, I think that kind of uh, tidies us up a little bit. Do you have anything you want to add? Yes, Carla, I do. I want to make sure that when someone goes to the dentist, <clears throat> excuse me, that they ask for a receipt, not just the receipt of their credit card payment. You want to make sure that you have a receipt of exactly what work they did. Some places don't want to give you a receipt for whatever reason. You must keep up on it. Before you sit down in the chair or once you're in the chair, you want someone to come in and explain what is going on and what it's going to cost. Because once they touch you, you're done. And if you're having periodontal, maybe you went in for a cleaning and the next thing they're doing periodontal cleaning or whatever it might be called. And you walk out and you have a co-payment of $50. And you thought, okay, I believe it's twice a year you get a free cleaning. So you really need to know, don't be embarrassed and have a good relationship with them. And if you are not comfortable with your service at your dentist, there are options. We'll talk about that at a later video meeting that you can call someone you can contact. So never feel that you're just over overpowered and over over, I guess overpowered by what's going on. Thank you, Carla. This video will go out in a few days. It will be available on YouTube. I will send details. If you're interested in a copy, please send an email to Bonnie, B-O-N-N-I-E-Z, 562 at yahoo.com. Bonnie, B-O-N-N-I-E-Z, Bonnie Z, 562 at yahoo.com. That would be the only way that you'll be able to see it on YouTube. Thank you, Carla. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us.